Lower Mayfield police came and told me that they were all murdered. When he told me, I think at that point I was in disbelief, which I still am a little bit today, and I just turned myself off so I could survive and tell my children and move and be able to deal with it. So I still am not sure I understand what happened. But it was, I mean, it was, it was, it was devastating. Um, we, you know, we were so close for so many years and I still have a hard time understanding how this could happen. So I think Amy's mother gave her, you know, a little congratulations gift, gave her this beautiful bowl on her desk, mm -hmm. um, to keep on her desk. And she kept it filled with chocolate candy all the time. Um, and when her students would do well, that's something, you know, she'd have students in her office that she was tutoring, she would throw a chocolate candy at them um, to say, you know, good job. So when we were, you know, we, actually you came up with the name. So when you're thinking about names for the organization. A friend of mine. That, that's, I, should, I don't want to. That, that one, you know, that one. Suggested uh, it. That one came out there and, uh, and it stuck. And so she's blowing kisses to... The students, students she's helping. Yeah. Well, it's, I think it's in its infancy. So, you know, we, we established it in October 2012, a year after the Amy and the children passed. And, you know, we're really uh, pleased with the progress that we've made so far and the difference we've been able to make in the lives of the students that we've touched. So, like I said, we're looking for opportunities to serve Bucks County students in need. Um, we have some opportunities in mind, um, additional opportunities with Philadelphia Futures to build on that relationship. But we've also, um, we try to work with students and organizations that have some kind of affiliation to things that, that Amy touched. So that's the Haverford High School connection. So, um, you know, we're looking for opportunities to grow our support of students in need at Haverford High School. For your readers to know how much we appreciate the support of the community, um, especially at that walk. We had close to 250 walker sponsors and supporters, um, which is a grow from around 150 last year. So that was a big leap and, you know, a, a number of, a, a great number of those came from the local community.